my name's Jess. I'm the head of marketing at Fortress, and you're on Player One. I'm Stefan from Player One, and we're here at PAX Australia 2019. I'm very excited to speak to Jessica Locanini from Fortress Melbourne. Jess, hello. Hi, how are you going, Stefan? Very good. I'm really glad to be here. So, Fortress Melbourne, it's a brand new thing. Can you tell our Player One listeners, what the hell is it? So, Fortress Melbourne is it's a gamer's home away from home. So, it's a dedicated um, destination for gaming and esports for everything from a huge esports arena to a tavern with intimate console booths to if you're a streamer and you want to go down and stream or use the latest LAN equipment. Um, there's really high quality tech all throughout the whole venue and it's something for everyone really, whether you're a casual or a hardcore gamer and everything in between. Yeah. Oh, you, are, you are pushing the esports part of it though hard, right? Yeah, yeah, esports is obviously, um, I think a lot of people are most excited about esports because um, as far as dedicated esports arena, um, you know, to, to nurture, you know, the success of esports across the country, like there's not really many places for people to yeah. go. Um, and I think what we've done is because it's 200 seat capacity with another 100 standing, I think it's, um, it's a good tr sort of entry level and practice facility for any people wanting to go pro or really prep themselves for those bigger tournaments. And it's even just like kind of relaxing areas. We can just go bring your consoles and relax, eat some yeah. food, that sort of stuff as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you know, come down, bring your own, you know, bring your own joysticks or hand, you know, whatever it is. Bring your phone, bring your switch, um, get some food, or use our own facilities. Like, there's there's something for everybody. So this is going to be in the Emporium, is that right? Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be huge, actually. Um, our photographer was just down this morning, and she saw the construction site for the first time, and. 2,700 meters, square meters, you know, you think, how big is that? And she was blown away. She goes, it's huge. Construction's gone full steam ahead. So um, at the moment, we're still on track for opening early 2020, um, hopefully before Easter. That's when we're targeting. So I, um, you know, obviously it's Melbourne International Games Week, but why Melbourne, do you think? Melbourne seems to be a hot pot for all things games. Um, and, it's, and it's sort of evolved that way really quickly, I think. Um, it's had a lot of support from um, Visit Victoria. To, you know, the fact that International Games Week is, Melbourne has an International Games Week. Um, a lot of gaming developers and publishers are setting up home here. Yeah. Um, and I think it's, they're really, Victoria and Melbourne is really making effort in nurturing that the, the opportunities for people to break into that space. And, yeah. you know, places like Fortress give them a destination to uh, practice it in the, you know, in a live arena. We're at PAX now, but for people who um, see it after PAX, uh, where can I find more information about Fortress? Go to fortressmelbourne.com. If you personally want to find out, sign up to our database. We really want people to play their part in helping us shape the future of what Fortress is going to look like. So um, that, you know, we do read all the surveys and the feedback. And if you've got an idea or something that you want to see at Fortress, fill it in, let us know. And it's, yeah, we will integrate it where we can. Thanks for joining us on Player One, Jess. No, thank you for having me.